So this morning's dawn and sunrise really didn't happen. It was great, it was dull, it was miserable. I think I deserved a bit of a lay-in. I did get up and come out on the push bike. Had a good long pedal down the beach. Did probably 10 k's down the beach. Just thought I'd explore. Probably five, five or six k's away from where I was. I dropped on these uh, these rocks. Now the tide is coming in. It's coming in quite rapidly. So uh, I've been here, I've been here so many times before. Where I've uh, where I've got close in for a photograph and, and killed a camera or two. Saltwater hates cameras. 2:30 in the afternoon. It's the, the light's not great, but for this quick shot, it's going to be okay. And it, this this will be a tester for another time. And then we're going to get back in the van. Two hours drive back to base. My middle boy and his missus are due to have a baby. So we're going to get a few uh, pre-pop photographs. So we're going to try out the bad boy on a few portraits. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's a good landscape camera. I want to try a few portraits. All right, guys, so uh, let's gingerly get down to the water's edge, see what we can make. Man, it's coming in fast. It's coming in so fast. OK, careful, 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 Paul. It's not my camera yet. Because that tide's coming in so fast, and I really don't want to kill another camera, Jesus, man, the, uh, the insurance company are hating me. So I don't want to kill another camera. What I have found, and what I've walked through stupidly, what a fool. What I have found, and I'm going to make this even worse. Oh, what a dick. Fucking idiot. What I have found is this, uh, this high and dry rock line that winds its way down to the, uh, the foreshore there. It makes a nice leading line towards the headland on the horizon. Not much of a shot, conditions are not great, but it's a, it's a little tester for, for future reference, this one. I will definitely be back at the right time. Unfortunately today, I've got to be on the road and, and away. You know the story. I'm just going to lock focus, adjust the frame a little bit. So we've got some nice leading lines coming through there. I'm going to try shooting this F32. Focus is achieved. I think we're looking good. We've got a bit of surf coming in. Dark slide out full again. You will learn eventually. I wouldn't bank on it, but you may do. Beautiful. That is the first shot on this second roll of film in the bag. It's quite nice. Literally, just after I took the first shot, I got a phone call from the boy, and uh, this afternoon's Model shoot, portrait shoot, baby bump shoot is off until another day. That's a bit of a sink. I was, I was kind of fancying getting a few, uh, few portraits on this roll of film, see how it goes. But there is a positive to all this. The light at the moment's crap because it's high today, obviously, and the tide's coming in. So obviously now I've got a little bit more time on my hands to, uh, to sit tight, go for another bike ride, be back down here for golden hour. Happy days, happy days. Yeah, it's time to move on. Two hours away from golden hour, and it's grey hour actually. It's grey two hours by the looks of it. We've got a weather front coming through that's going to last for four or five days. So these are the best of the conditions we're going to get for the next week. It's really greyed up, it's really overcast. The tide's still quite high. Too high for me to risk getting down on the beach and uh, playing with this beautiful, beautiful camera. Looking out onto the horizon, the focal point of the shot. Cape Turn again, it's quite hazy due to the sea spray. We've got some milky, very, very milky sunlight at the moment. And I don't think it's going to get any better than what it is now. But I'm going to stick here. Why not? I reckon another hour I'll be safe to get down on the beach, take the camera down and uh, hopefully not drown it. Given that the light is pants, what bit of sun there is is fast dropping down behind that headland. And the tide's not gone out far enough yet. We keep getting the odd surge that will completely take out myself on my camera. Oh, not my camera. It's not my camera yet. Yet. Well, I'm waiting for the tide to recede enough. I'm going to get a shot from here 
looking back towards the headland and you've got the, the headland in, in hazy mist. You've got these grasses in the foreground and you've got the sweeping gravel road snaking away into the distance. And I think it just shows what a sort of wild and rugged and out on the edge kind of place this is. And you've got the wild surf pumping and doing its thing out there. And it's doing it down there, not up here, which is perfect. All right, guys, shot time. I'm looking at F11, 15th of a second. And to be honest, this is going to be quite a nice shot. I think this shot's going to be wasted on the Ektar 100, to be fair. It probably sort of black and white shot, this. Dark slide, man, every time. Just slot that bloody thing in there for safekeeping. Leave it in there now, leave it, Paul. Not knocked anything, everything's looking sweet as. Beautiful. Wind on to frame number three, cock the shutter. And I'm just going to shoot this, just as the tide recedes there. Just going to make a shot out of that, it looks quite nice. I've just taken the second exposure of that scene there because we've just as you can see we've just got a little bit of light on the surface it's rolling in unfortunately that bit of light has dipped below the hills behind me so the light's not getting to the rocks which is an absolute oh it's a shame it really is a shame but uh, hey them's the brakes now really i'm wanting this shot but i really am wanting to not drown my camera not my camera, it's not my camera yet. I'm gonna set the camera up, F11, quarter of a second, make a bit of a dash, get in position, and get a real quick shot, and then get out of dodge. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, didn't quite get the shot off, bloody thing, but I tell you what, it does look nice down there, jeez. We're going to have to time this quite nicely. Yes! Get the smeg in! <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's get out of here. I'm just going to try and make a shot from here, looking back towards my van. As you can see, we've got a little streak of light coming out from the hills. And with the sea spray coming in, it just looks, I don't know, it's got a bit of atmosphere about it. How it's going to come out on film is anybody's guess. But I like it. I do. I like it. It's pretty funky to me. We're going to shoot this at F8. And that's going to give me half a second, give or take. That does look nice. Let me just try and make sure. Everything looks okay in there. Half a second, F8. Tell you what, I'll tell you what. If, if these come out anything like what I think they're going to do, what I hope they're going to do, I think we're laughing. All I'm doing there is turning the shuttle lock button on because I don't want to accidentally fire this as I'm walking about. So that just locks it off. So you can't press that now, can't waste the film. I've probably wasted two rolls full anyway. And that, guys, is a wrap. Five shots this evening, one shot earlier on today, which leaves me four shots on this roll of film. I'm not gonna burn them, not gonna waste them. I don't do that, I don't believe in doing that, mainly because I'm just tight. Yorkshireman, what can I say? So what we're going to do, we're going to save those four shots for another day and we'll say farewell to this absolutely glorious, beautiful, wild piece of New Zealand coastline. What an absolute stunner. Captain Cook, he actually missed out because he got to that point, he got to Cape Turn again, turned around, went away, came around the other way, 
turned around and went away. Too windy for him, too windy. What's he about? Different types of Yorkshiremen you see. Some of us are just tougher than others. Mm -hmm.